Good morning, CW Henry School. This is Ms. Davis coming to you virtually, bringing you another Black History Bite of the day. Today, on February the 25th, we're going to be learning more about the first licensed African-American pilot in the world. She is someone whose high-flying skills wowed her audiences. Any idea who I'm talking about? Drum roll, please. The focus of today's Black History Bite is pilot Bessie Coleman. Bessie was born on January the 26th, 1892, 129 years ago. She died at the young age of 34 on April 30th, 1926. She was the first African-American female pilot to ever hold an international pilot license. She fought discrimination to follow her dream of becoming a pilot. So let's learn a little bit more about her background and her childhood. Her mother was African-American and her father was Native American. Both of her parents were sharecroppers. We've talked about sharecroppers in previous Black History Bites. When Coleman was two years old, her family moved to Texas where she went to school. She loved to read and she was very good at math. Her father was in pursuit of a job. When, when Bessie was a kid, their family experienced extreme racial discrimination in Texas. They decided to leave the state in pursuit of a better life for their family. Let's watch a short YouTube video telling us a little bit more about Bessie's life. Bessie Coleman was the first female African-American pilot, and she was a civil rights pioneer for future generations. Born in 1892, she was famous for becoming a pilot in a time when very few women and no African-American women were flying planes. Coleman was known as one of the best barnstormers or stunt pilots in America. She was famous for performing tricks like flying upside down, making loops, and even walking or hanging onto her plane while it was in flight. Most famously, she also performed jumps from planes using early parachutes. Bessie is remembered for living an exciting life, but it wasn't always that way. She was born in a little town called Atlanta in the state of Texas to a Native American father and an African American mother. Her childhood wasn't easy. She walked four miles every day to a one-room school that couldn't afford paper or pencils. Her parents were sharecroppers. They operated under a system of agriculture in which a landowner allowed a tenant to use the land in return for a share of the crops produced on that land. So, when Bessie wasn't in school, she was, also, she was often working in the cotton fields in order to help her parents bring in income. Growing up, Coleman swore to herself that she would find a way to make her life mean something. And so she did. Coleman moved to Chicago, where her brothers were already living. They told her marvelous tales about French women flying planes in World War I, and she wanted to do the same thing. But flight schools barred blacks, and she was unable to convince any white pilots to teach her how to fly. Instead of giving up, Bessie Coleman worked hard so that she could learn French and could travel to Paris to learn to fly. So she did. She studied and she taught herself how to speak French. Once she mastered the language, Bessie then left the United States and she traveled to Europe. From there, she made her way to France and then ultimately to Paris. Unlike the United States, she was able to find a pilot that was willing to teach her to fly. At the time of Bessie's training, the only way for pilots to earn a living was by teaching other people how to fly through flight schools or by becoming stunt pilots who performed for crowds that paid for the show. Bessie returned to the United States and became one of the most famous stunt flyers to ever live. She even worked hard to help other black women learn to fly, but sadly, Coleman was killed while preparing for a parachute jump the day before a big show. But her legacy lives on today, and the road to O'Hare Airport in Chicago was even named after her. She died young, but her willingness to be a civil rights pioneer will live on forever. So if you wanna learn more about Bessie Coleman, here are two places that you can go. First, there's a book called Bessie Coleman Daring to Fly that is on Epic. Look it up on Epic Books. 
Also, there's a read aloud of the book, Fly High, the story of Bessie Coleman that is on YouTube. I'll link it to this video. That brings you to the end of today's Black History Bite. I'm so inspired by Bessie Coleman and her refusal to take no for an answer. I hope that you enjoyed today's Black History Bite and I look forward to, talk to you, talking to you tomorrow, bringing you another Black History Bite of the day. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.